Think about your own life. I know there have been areas in your life where some point in time you just shifted and you raised the standard and your life changed. Because whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. We live who we believe we are. My journey from here to there was lonely. The reason? I was willing to be wrong and admit wrong so that I could grow and so that I could change. You see, growth is a result of bad habits dropped, wrong priorities changed, and new ways of thinking embraced. It happens only when we question ourselves enough to ask serious questions from others. The people who do not grow are unwilling to ask themselves or others hard questions. They are unwilling to leave what they have known and practiced. They are not willing to be wrong so they can discover what is right. Therefore, they cling to right. And their lives turn out wrong. How sad. We get what we're looking for. We filter out everything else in our life. You're going to get what you're looking for even if it doesn't even exist even if it's not even there. If you're looking for negatives, if you're looking for setbacks, if you're looking to be looked over, you will find it even though it's not supposed to be there. But if you're looking for victory, for winning, for recruits, for people to change your life, for magic moments, you will find them if you're looking for them. I promise you that's true in life. Your brain, when you condition it, knows exactly what to go for and will find a way to get there. When you decide what's most important to you, your brain goes after it. Surrender of being right enables us to ask questions that others can answer and add value to us. Surrender of being right is the prerequisite to finding right. I believe that with all my heart. And here's what I know. I never want to get to the place where I've got it all figured out. I still want to keep learning. I still want to keep growing. And I still want to be a student and I still want to be on a learning curve and, and I still want to value people and I still want to walk into their life and say, look, you have something that, that if I could just ask the right question, you could impart to me that would help me, that would allow me to, to become a better person myself. Ego is the anesthesia that deadens the pain of stupidity. Pride is the burden of a foolish person. If you're going to do a job, do it right. I've always been told how average I can be always been criticized about being average but i want to tell you something i stand here before you before all of these people not listening to those words but telling myself every single day to shoot for the stars to be the best that i can be good enough isn't good enough if it can be better and better isn't good enough if it can be best wisdom will come to you in the unlikeliest of sources a lot of times through failure. When you hit rock bottom, remember this, while you're struggling, rock bottom can also be a great foundation on which to build and on which to grow. I'm not worried that you'll be successful. I'm worried that you won't fail from time to time. The person that gets up off the canvas and keeps growing, that's the person that will continue to grow their influence. The world does not reward mediocrity you know what the rest of the world wants to pay you for be the best at one thing if you know how to concentrate your efforts and be focused on one thing you have an edge if you can be focused on one thing and I look at everything else that everybody else is looking at 50 different philosophies 75 different ways to make money 19 different streams of income if you can figure out we go here all of that stuff's going to come your way. But if you go chase all the other stuff like everyone else is, you're going to miss the whole point of winning in life because you can't concentrate. If you show me anyone today who knows how to concentrate, I'll show you someone that nobody wants to compete with. Number one, you got to have a permeating attitude that you're going to win. You got to have a positive outlook. You got to be optimistic. You got to know you're going to win. You got to, right now, you got to say, I'm going to win. I don't mean just this contest. I don't mean the contest. I mean, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. My life is going to win. There's going to be a victorious life here. Because listen to me, the price you pay for losing here is too extreme. You have to carry the burden of failure the rest of your life. 
You carry that around with you if you fail here. The biggest thing that breaks my heart is you feel the spirit right now. And then when you get back, these dream stealers run into you and they start to steal your dream and you quit. You give up. You got to decide I'm going to win. You got to decide that the failure part of carrying failure, you've been exposed to what your life could be. If you fail here, the price is extreme. It's forever. You carry the failure forever. I'm being honest with you. You got to know you're going to win. You got to sell out. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to become a sellout. You need to sell out. You need to get obsessed. You got to get relentless. You got to be a road dog. You got to get intense. That's what you got to do. There's some dream stealers. You need to look out for these four. Dream stealer number one that'll take you out of here. Lack of confidence or faith. Lack of belief. It'll steal your dream. You got to know you're going to win. You got to have some faith. These people sitting around you right now, they're whispering to you, you could do this. I believe it. Just like when you were a little boy. Just like when you were a little girl. They've always believed in you. They've always known you were going to do something special. They always knew you were great. You need to know it. You need to take that God that's sitting there with you and those precious souls that have passed that have always believed in you and you carry them with you everywhere. They're with you anyway. Acknowledge them. If you don't believe that, honor them. Honor God. Honor these people who believed in you with your magnificent life. Honor them. Don't give in to lack of belief, lack of confidence. Don't ever do that again. You were made to do something great. You're special. You were made in the image of God. Something awesome supposed to happen for you. And those of you that have made something awesome happen, something even more awesome supposed to happen for you.